Hey guys, today's video is gonna be an adventure. We're at Mill Gap Farms in Monterey, Virginia, making maple syrup, and we're about to get killed. <laughs> Hey there folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to the farm. Today we're on Kevin's farm. This is Kevin Connor with Mill Gap Farms. We're on a maple syrup farm today. Kevin is a veteran of the Marine Corps, right? That's correct. How many years you served? 10 years. 10 years in the Marine Corps. Today we're gonna show you how all this equipment works. We're gonna take you up on the top of the mountain. We're gonna teach you how maple syrup works. And this is the only organic maple syrup farm in Virginia. It's gonna be a good time, all right? adventure we're gonna head up a steep mountain camera does it no justice last time I came up here this is my second trip I was holding on for dear life and Mrs. Stony Ridge was sitting right here <laughs> it is I'm looking out about 30 feet and I can see the tops of the trees out here this is super duper steep camera really does it no justice this is so steep we're having to back up all the way up to the top of this we had two options we could back up to the top or back down. I think we're more comfortable packing down. <laughs> Right now we're gonna set a couple drops in place and then we're gonna tap a tree. Um, this end of the drop is a seated end. Uh, the drop would normally, when we're not in season, we take the tap itself and we put the tap in that seat. That's why it's called seated. If we have a vacuum leak, we can pop this off and we can seat it and everything will be fine. This is what's gonna go on the lateral itself. 
Uh, we're going to put that in right now and we'll, we'll put two in and then we'll tap two. Take the drop tool, cut it in your pocket. What we're doing right here is we're putting the drop in and the drop actually collects the water from the tree itself. On the end of the drop, we have a T, uh, we have a T which is going to be connected to the lateral and the lat from the lateral, the water goes into the main line and then from the main line it goes into our barn. And on the drops we have a section that goes onto the lateral and then this is the actual tap itself. Okay, um, spout, tap, uh, this goes into the tree itself. So we're going to press this, this drop, which is this little section here, uh, onto the lateral and then we're going to tap the tree. Done. All right, we're about to tap a tree, and because we're an organic farm, we have certain parameters that we have to follow. The size of this tree allows us to tap, put two taps in it, and the way we tap is we pull our drop fully as long as we can. We don't want any sags in our drop. A sag will cause a freezing problem, so we're gonna pull it tight. We know approximately where we're gonna go. We're gonna drill into the tree, approximately three quarters to a there we go, three quarters to an inch. And if you look at that really closely, you see water coming out. And now we're gonna set our tap right into place. There it is. Now, this is the important part. Listen really carefully, very light. Although I'm using a claw hammer, um, I'm holding the hammer as though I could drop out of my hand. Listen. Hear that? Tap's done. All of these lines that you see in front of me uh, are tied together. Each tree has a line that goes by it and that's what we connect the drops to. So this is called a lateral. This line goes to our main line which is down the hill a little ways and the main lines go right into the barn. In a little bit, we're gonna go down to the barn and we're gonna start the boil and make some maple syrup. So it's important when you're tapping that you, when you drill into the tree, that you put it on a, a slight bit of an angle so that the water uses the gravity to go down to the bottom of the lateral. One of the hardest things I guess to deal with, frustrating, call it what you may, is dealing with all the leaks. So line maintenance is a big issue. Folks will tell you that you make your money in the woods and that means you've got to get the water to the barn. In order to do that, you have to have a really tight system. Uh, we have a problem with bears. You know, squirrels do some damage, but nothing like what bears do. We spent probably two and a half, almost three weeks solid in the woods fixing bear bites. And a bear bite, is when a bear walks through and just takes a chomp of it. All they do is just go bite, let go, and they move on. They're very curious creatures. Uh, and the problem we have is when they make that bite, that creates a void or an open section of that line, and we gotta take it out and replace it. It was about a year ago we tapped our first set of trees and started making maple syrup, and this is our second season in production. Uh, Mass Virginia's only organic maple syrup producer. It's wow. been a fun ride. About three, three and a half years ago, my wife and I uh, left Richmond uh, to come up here and just kind of get away from it all. Uh, the idea was to raise our family in a very rural environment where the community was smaller. Um, so we bought this farm. Our farm is about 160 acres. And in comparison, there's a lot of bigger farms around us. But certainly this is ours and we really enjoy what we're doing. We started making maple syrup about a year ago. Uh, with the help of some good friends in the area, we decided that uh, it was time to leave the city life 
and trying to enjoy something a little slower paced. Um, but I gotta tell you, farming is not slower paced. Uh, there is always something going on. So if it's not making maple syrup, we're lambing, uh, getting ready for some alpacas to be born, and then we're moving right into hay season. And then before you know it, it's, uh, it's county fair time and we're getting ready to go back in the woods to, to get ready for the next year's uh, production. I'm really passionate about the maple syrup and the main reason I'm passionate about the maple syrup is because it is absolutely fun uh, and we can do it with our family. So whether we're boiling or we're bottling or coming up here in the woods to get ready for it, every bit of it is family involved. You'll find that a lot of the sugar camps in this area are all driven by small family operations and that's what we are. We're a very small family doing maple syrup up here and it is absolutely wonderful. This is quality time that you won't or that we won't really get if we were living in Richmond. You know, we're living that hustle bustle lifestyle. So coming up here, hanging out with the family, enjoying them and doing something that we really uh, really have fun with. And then this is what it's about. On our farm we have 160 acres. Uh, about 100 acres is in pasture where we graze our animals. 60 acres is in timber or we call it managed areas, uh, managed timber, where we tap approximately 1,500 trees for a total of about 2,400 taps. These are our one inch lines right here. And this is our north line and our south line. These come in off the mountain from all of our laterals. Um, this particular device is called an extractor and it keeps vacuum on the lines. Uh, when we say vacuum, there's two kinds of vacuum. There's a natural vacuum from the elevation that we have here. And the other kind of vacuum is a mechanical vacuum. And we use a mechanical vacuum pump, which is located on the other side of this wall. And in just a minute, it's gonna release and let the water, sweet water sap, that's coming from the trees into our big tank here. And this is our big collection tank, which is approximately 5,000 gallons. This tank will fill up uh, one time a day. Sometimes it'll fill up two times a day. Uh, on a single full, a fill of our tank, which is again 5,000 gallons, we can make approximately 90 gallons of syrup. All right, what we're looking at here is an, is an evaporator. It's made by a company out of Canada called CDL. This is a constant flow evaporator. And what that means is once we have this machine primed, uh, normally it takes anywhere from three to 5,000 gallons to get it primed, um, meaning the syrup, is, uh, the sap has already gone through the machine and it's in its respective places at the right sugar content. Once that's done and the next boil, much like we're gonna to start today, we will then be able to boil uh, and pull syrup off within about 15 to 20 minutes. So that's, a, that's what a constant flow machine does. And so here's how it works. We had water coming into the barn that we took and put into our reverse osmosis machine, which took the sugar content up to approximately nine bricks. It's gonna enter through the back of this machine, get preheated through a preheater. It's gonna land in the back of this flue pan here. It's gonna get boiled off. So we're gonna evaporate a lot of that, that water that's in that uh, sap. Once it gets to a certain percentage of sugar or bricks, it's then gonna come out of this back pan and make its way into these front pans. Here in the front pans, we have two on this particular rig. They have four sections, or there's two pans with two sections for a total of four sections. When the syrup or the water comes out the back of the pan here, it is maintained the, uh, the level inside of here based on a float system right here. And it might be as high as 50 bricks, which is not too far from, from making maple syrup. Maple syrup is at 59 bricks or 66% sugar. So in this section, it may be 52, 54. This section, it may be 55. This section, it may be 57. And in this section, it may be 59, which is actually sugar. This is a state-of-the-art machine, this evaporator. And this particular part on this machine is a auto draw off. And what it does is it associates a temperature with a percent of sugar. So we take certain readings with the hydrometer. And once we know that it's at the right temperature, we set the temperature on this unit right here. And then every time it begins to approach that temperature, this valve will automatically open and syrup will come out. Here we are in our bottling room. This is our bottler back here where we put our syrup and we bottle it by hand. Everything we do on the farm is in small batches. All of our batches are numbered and all of our bottles are numbered as well.
steam rolling off of this, it's done. So look right here, you can see the syrup is running off and that's finished maple syrup, 59 bricks or 66% sugar. Awesome. We're gonna do the honors here. This is unfiltered maple syrup, mm -hmm. fresh from the forest, literally an hour ago. We're gonna give her a taste test here. Probably plenty right there, isn't it? If that one's <laughs> yours, I'll get another one. All right, awesome. This is what all this hard work's for. Don't be uh, stingy. You were saying you eat syrup for supper when you're up here working? Oh, syrup, all warm <laughs> syrup, there's nothing better. Awesome. Here Cheers you to you guys. Cheers. Cheers to you, Kevin. Thanks for having us up here. Thanks for coming up. We Bring really appreciate it. Along. Let's give her a try here. Mm -hmm. Man, that's good. Oh. I'm sorry, that's delicious. Oh. I want some more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Well, oh, guys, boy. thanks a lot for joining us here on the Stony Ridge Farm Channel today. I hope you learned a little bit. That's how maple syrup is made. This is a fancy machine in a nice place, great people. Uh, you guys have a maple syrup festival every year? Every year, the second and third weekends of March. Uh, okay. People descend upon our county in the thousands. It's wonderful. Nice. You can visit certain uh, other maple camps. You can visit our camp as well. We're on the maple tour. Um, we also have lodging on the farm. Cool. If you want to come out for a farm experience and learn a little bit about how maple syrup works, you can come out and do a tag along. Hang out with us. Nice. Millgapfarm.com? Millgapfarms.com, yeah. Yep. Cool. I'll post a link down in the video description in case you guys want to come up here and see this for yourself. Awesome. Thanks a lot. We'll see you guys next time on the Stony Ridge. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Cheers. Mmm. Boy, that's good. Woo! <laughs> I'm gonna be all hyped up. This is delicious. Sugar. It is. I almost need to run another jug off. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you next time. I appreciate you. I hope you learned a little bit today. I hope you enjoyed the program. See you next time. We'll come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life here in the